about 20 miles outside Abu Dhabi, Mazdar City is striving to be the greenest city on Earth. I think the city of the future is going to be based on people walking to where they live, to where they work, and to where they play. And if you aren't walking, city director Tony Mallow says you can take a magnetically controlled car wherever you need to go. Welcome to Mustard City. This is a little car? Yeah, this is a personal rapid transit. This is how you get around the city. It's driverless, it's electrical, and it's solar powered. It comes when you want it, and it takes you when you want to go, and you leave it alone. So it's driverless? Yes. Navigating the city's 2.4 square miles is relatively easy. This is a dream of what the future could be. But is it really going to happen? I mean, is this going to be anything more than a demo? It's a model for urban development, but it's really sustainable because it's not only environmentally sustainable, socially and economically. Fewer than 500 people live here. That falls far short of the original goal of 40,000 by next year, a goal set at the peak of the economic boom. Right now, about 1,200 people work here every day in buildings that are specially designed to help reduce water and energy consumption by as much as 40%, according to city officials. And you've learned over time with some of the, the, the successes and failures you've had, right, that zero emissions is a goal, but I mean, that's not reasonable at this point, right? It's just extremely low emissions, but there's some. It's low emissions, but yeah. zero emissions has been proved to be very, very difficult. With more than 87,000 solar panels, the city produces its own electricity, offsetting 15,000 tons of carbon emissions a year. City engineers say that's the equivalent of taking about 3,300 cars off the road in Abu Dhabi. And walking around the city, innovation can be seen everywhere. So you're looking at a wind tower, which is a traditional Arabic design to cool, right? Yes, absolutely. So you take a traditional Arabic element on cooling, mm -hmm. totally passive energy, totally sustainable, and then you use modern technology to make it even more efficient. The Mazdar Institute is also partnered with MIT to develop new renewable energy sources, like making jet fuel from the seed of a weed that grows here in the desert. So this is obviously happening here yes. in the middle of the desert. Your ambition or what you're trying to prove is much bigger. Absolutely. I mean, globalization is a key issue for the future, not only because cities are going to attack global warming. We have to understand how to build cities that are low carbon. And that's why Mazda City is such an important contribution to globalization and urbanization.